Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And breaking news, a total of nine players have officially been released from the Springbok squad ahead of the second test against Ireland. Uh, these players have been released back to their unions and will get an opportunity to play some Curry Cup action this weekend ahead of the game against Portugal. They will then rejoin the squad in Bloemfontein on Monday where they will be eligible for selection next weekend and a lot of them probably will be playing against Portugal. Rusty Rasmus indicating that he wants to see these players basically get some game time. Um, you know, instead of spending a sort of a day uh, on the sidelines and watching the Springboks sort of uh, go through the motions, would rather have them back at the unions playing some game time, getting them nice and fresh so they can come into the Portugal game next weekend um, with that game time under their belt. Before we get into exactly who the players are, as well as uh, maybe some indication of, of some of the of, of, of the of the players who will start next week or play against Portugal next week, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, here are the players that have um, departed the squad and will rejoin the, uh, the box on Sunday. Um, Trevor Nyakane, Marcus Olmo Pimpi, Edel van der Merwe, Andre Esterhazen, Lekanya Am, um, Apede Fassi um, are all the players who are currently capped, who have already been capped and uh, go back to their unions. Whilst the uncapped players include Jan Hendrik Vessels, Pepsi Boutelezi, and Mornay Vandenberg. Um, massive for the Sharks, for example, who have named Andre Estes in their starting lineup, Pepsi Boutelezi in their starting lineup, Trevor Nikon in their starting lineup, Apri De Fassi in their starting lineup, for example. So it's a massive boost uh, for, for the Sharks ahead of the, uh, for their game uh, against the Creek Wars. I think the Creek Wars are probably a bit, a bit upset, given the fact that they would have been banking on a bit of a second-string Sharks side, and now they're going to have you know double World Cup winners uh, in in that squad, but uh, it's really good from a box perspective. I think to to get that game time. Um, I think Moyne Funderburg, Edel Funderburg, obviously have been told. Uh, so basically, what happened? Is Rassi Rasmus, uh, well, the coach staff phoned um, the the coaches of the the unions and said, you know, listen, if we release these guys back to the unions, are you going to give them game time? And the unions all said yes. Like you know, we'll, we'll if you take if you give them send them back to us, we will play them. For example, they will get a chance. Um, and as a result, you know, are we are going to see Moyne van den Berg, Edel van den Merwe playing for the Lions. Sounds like we'll see Andrew Hendrik Bessels as well play for the Bulls. We're still awaiting those official um, team lists from those unions, but we expect to see um, all those players in action, um, and then they return to the box. So speaking about it, uh, Rusty Erasmus said the following. Uh, he said, we have a big squad at the moment, and as valuable as it is to have so many players at training, it's important that we keep the players match fit. Playing in the Curry Cup is ideal since we are locally based and the players are only a flight away. We finished the groundwork for Saturday's test on Wednesday with the entire squad and we only have the captain's run left on Friday. So it makes sense to send some players to their unions to play some rugby. This will not only keep them sharp as individuals, it will also assist our cause if we do well against Ireland this week and decide to mix things up in terms of team selection against Portugal. We could lose to Ireland, I think, 15-0 this weekend. We're still going to mix things up um, against Portugal. Um... Speaking of some of the players in the squad, for example, Rusty Rasmus said that some of the players played against Wales at Twickenham, and I'm sure they are excited to get back onto the field in a proper match before joining us again on Sunday. Um, while the other players haven't played rugby in a few weeks, although they have trained hard and with intent for us. Uh, he said the reality is that there is no substitute for real game time. We know they'll, ret um, they'll return even sharper, and hopefully we can give many of them a chance against Portugal. He said, building depth has, has been one of our key pillars since 2018. And as I've said, we are building towards 2027. So it's important that we give a few of the young players a chance to prove themselves at top international level. Yeah, I mean, I think you go through that list, for example, and I think you're going to see all of them involved against Portugal. You know, I think that we'll see more van der potentially coming off the bench uh, next weekend. I think you'll see an Edward van der Merwe, Max Olmo, Pimpy probably starting as the two wings. I'm sure Andre Estes is going to get another start inside centre. Um, I foresee Trevor Nikani getting potentially a start at tight Could even get a start at loose head. If not, will be coming off, um, off the bench in those positions. I think Pepsi Butelezi will make his debut next weekend as well. Um, I, I'm not sure we'll see Jan Hendrik Vessels next weekend. I think we might see uh, Jan Krobola start. We might see, uh, for example, uh, Jan Hendrik Vessels coming off the bench. But I think that Malcolm Marks probably needs the game time. So I think he'll sort of remain around. But anyway, we will be doing a predicted team on uh, that will come out on Monday. Uh, so lots and lots of content coming over the next few days. And next week's going to be a very interesting week because we are going to see debuts. We are going to see a rotated side. Um, you know, Rusty Rasp was already indicating that we're going to see a different 10 next weekend um, from Andre Pollard. So whether that means my Lee Box going to start, whether that means that Sasha Fahm and Zulu's going to come in and start, whether they're going to suddenly call up a Sia Masuka or Jordan Hendricks are back into the mix. You know, we'll have to wait and see. I personally think it'll be my Lee Box, who is the official second choice, number 10 in the squad. But... Uh, 
yeah, let me know what you think. You know, um, obviously, I think this is, is no one. There's no, there's no downside really to these players going back and playing a bit of carry cup. Um, I think the only frustration would probably be some of the teams that you know play against. Obviously, you know, the likes of the Lions only getting two players, pretty two, pretty big two players, and the Bulls only getting one player. But for the Sharks, it is quite a big boost to have those kind of players back in. But at the end of the day, it makes the carry cup stronger this weekend. Um, hopefully we might see a bit of that as well moving forward, you know, even between, you know, with a group that doesn't go to Australia, for example. So if the likes of Morning Funderburg's not going to Australia, then he can drop back in and play a bit of rugby at Curry Cup level um, or, you know, have a bit of time off, for example, because obviously some of these players do have to go into that sort of mandatory rest period. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.